Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. I have my microphone right here, so I don't. I hope it's not going to be too loud for anybody or have any problems with it. <laughs> not sure, so. But today I'm having spaghetti. It's a requested video. Here's what it looks like. It's a cheesy spaghetti. There you go. And some Texas toast. There's some crunch. Let's start with this. And somebody asked me one time why I use plastic for. <laughs> um, I do use metal, especially like if I'm in a restaurant or whatever. But I don't. I do not. I have trouble with some metals. I start itching and uh, getting hives. But also, I don't like it. It bothers my tongue too when a metal touches my tongue. Not all the time. Sometimes it's it's pretty bad, and sometimes it's not so bad. I guess it depends on the type, but. Um, I do use them, but when I'm at home or whatever, I just use plastic. And I hope that that microphone's not going to get hit a lot or whatever. I'm trying to, I have it hooked to a clip. And then, um, you know, I don't know if I said... Everybody, welcome to my channel. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't even know if I said that or not, but everybody, welcome to my channel. But I was worried about the microphone, so it threw me off. So. <laughs> but I hope everybody's doing good today. Checking my shirt. <laughs> There's no nice way to eat spaghetti, that's for sure. It drips and goes everywhere. So, but back to my fork thing. So that's why I use plastic forks most of the time. I do use metal. And for the plate wise, it just depends on what I have. Like I used a paper plate today because I thought it'd show it better on here because. My bowls kind of have to go higher up, and you wouldn't be able to see what's inside of it. So, I was going to tell you guys what happened to me yesterday morning. <laughs> oh, crap. See, there you go. Oops, sorry. <laughs> Already got it on my shirt. And I just started. Yeah. I can never eat anything without getting on my shirt, no matter how hard I try. My little girl's in the window. She doesn't feel good. She hasn't ate really anything yesterday. And then today, this morning, I try to feed her. She hasn't ate. I'll do it like this. <laughs> this lady keeps it from dripping. <laughs> So yesterday I get up for work and 
I usually get up and go, I t change my clothes and sit in the dining room and have breakfast or whatever. And a lot of times I read all my messages from you guys or see what's going on in the world, check the news. And um, I was sitting here and I noticed, I didn't see a car, but I see the, the headlights coming down the road. And within the headlights, I could see the lights flicker with people running back and forth and doing whatever because I had no idea what was going on. But I could see all the, the light changing from the headlights coming straight down the road. With, I could tell people were going in front of the car and stuff like that. I'm like, what the heck is going on? And this is like 4, 4.30 in the morning. And I'm like, what are people doing out there this time? You know, so I'm watching, I'm watching them. Because I want to, I have to go out there, so I'm trying to figure out what's going on, <laughs> you know. And um, I'm thinking I'm gonna have to wake my husband up because I'm not going out there and <laughs> all this going on. <laughs> so, so finally, it's really, really dark out there. There's only one street light, and it's further down the road. Well, I'm sure there's other ones, but there's right, right by the house. There's only one further down the road. So the car comes down past my place and kind of like over catty corner. And it parks, but I couldn't really see. I saw the car, but I couldn't tell. It was so dark out what kind of car or whatever else. So I go up the window, <laughs> looking out. <laughs> You're going, and here I see it's a cop car. And I see a whole bunch of people running around. I'm like, oh, man, are they chasing somebody down or what's going on? So next thing you know, I seen a big horse. Because like I told you, we kind of live in a royal area. And there's cat. we don't have houses behind us. It's all trees and fields. And there's cows back there. And, she, and baby girl hates them cows. She growls and barks at them. But and some of these places around here have horses and whatever else. And uh, but not in this particular neighborhood because they're too small for hot horses stuff like that. But the farmland and stuff like that. A big beautiful horse got out. So they were chasing it down. Then I noticed my neighbor come running outside, and so the the police officers asked him to keep the horse in his yard <laughs> till they could find out who it belonged to. So when I go out there, there's a horse and all the police and stuff like that. So <laughs> it was okay to go out. One, one time I did have to wake my husband up, though. I almost did that time because I was not going out there because <laughs> I didn't know what was going on. But I had a couple scary experiences in the morning because I get up so early, but nothing was serious. But, I mean, I didn't know what it was at first. So it was scary. <laughs> but um, this one time, this is when I was pregnant with my youngest son. I did end up going to work. <clears throat> and I go out to the gate to go out. This big, huge dog comes running <laughs> And was growling at me at the gate. Wouldn't let me out of my own yard. And I was like, I'm not, I can't go out there because I was pregnant and I didn't want to endanger my baby. And, um, and he, he was sounding mean. He was like, he's going to bite me if I came out. <laughs> so I went and got my husband. And it was funny, by the time he got, he got dressed and come out, the dog was gone. But yeah, but he waited till I got in my car and made sure everything was okay before he went in the house. But yeah. <laughs> No, it was just a funny situation. <laughs>
somebody asked me a question if I have, me or my family have ever experienced a paranormal situation. Have you been, any of you guys? I don't know that I have. I don't think so. I've had weird things happen. <laughs> I don't know if they were paranormal or not, but I can think of several things that have happened. I, I do know the person that owned this home before us did pass away, and she was she had cancer, and, and she passed away in the home. I actually didn't know that till after I bought it. Actually, the realtor lied because he said that she got sick and she died, and he specifically said she did not die in the home. But then I did not know her or her family, but I knew a guy who had dated her before she died and and um, was with her when she died. He told me she died in the house, so that's how I found out. But um, I don't know if they have to disclose that or not, but he didn't do that, so I didn't know. But I still have, um, I had it when I was a child, and I still have it. I have um, deja vu, feelings of deja vu, really strong. Um, I could be having a conversation with somebody, or something can happen, and I already have it playing out. I already heard the conversation, already know what's going to happen, because it's a, I don't know why, <laughs> but I already know. And it's just like a feeling of deja vu that I already saw it and heard it, and and um and then it just plays out exactly the way it did the way i knew it was going to so i don't know really what that's called but except for deja vu <laughs> and one time i was cooking in my kitchen in this home I heard Christine day, playing this day, so I, I said, just a minute, and I went over to my door, because I thought somebody was at my door, and at my door, there was nobody there, and I know I heard my name being called out, because I answered <laughs> back, <laughs> and that was a few years ago, too, but... I've also had other weird things happen, but I don't know. I don't, people probably think I'm crazy if I talk about this. I think I just won't, but. It's not really paranormal, it's just maybe just like. messages from people kind of thing which I don't really even believe them 
about What kind of strange things have you guys experienced or maybe want to talk about? You can leave a comment in the section down there. And I am trying to get to everybody's request, and I will eventually, <laughs> so please be patient with me. Um, it just takes me a while to get to some of the stuff. Yeah. I, I don't um, know when I'll get to them, but I will. I will get to everybody's. So I'm trying to do other stuff in between. And... Um, Hope everybody can be patient with me. Nikki was just looking out the window. <laughs> My hair's getting so long again. It grows so fast, it really does. You guys are probably so sick of hearing about my hair. <laughs> Well, everybody, I am so full right now, so I can't really eat anymore. But I do hope that you enjoyed the video. Please give it a thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed, please subscribe. I'd appreciate it. Um, I hope everybody has a wonderful day and a wonderful evening, depending on wherever you are. And just know that um, I'm going to get to your request as soon as I can. And that I appreciate every one of you for watching and um commenting and thank you very much okay good night or have a nice day <laughs>